Hey, you guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday weekend. Here we are, December 1st of 2020. And what better than to start this video by going over the top, my top, four trends for social media marketing for 2021. So if you guys are new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Kylie Francis and I teach you guys the profitable social media... <laughs> profitable social media marketing strategies that are working right now to grow your business online. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you guys find any sort of value in this video. So like I said, today I want to give you guys the top four trends I personally think are the top four we're going to see going into 2021. But don't get it twisted. You actually can implement these today. So when you guys hear these four trends, these are things that you can already start implementing for your business. And I highly recommend, even though it's December 1st of 2020 or 2020, that you go ahead and start implementing these trends now because the trends are here. And the whole point of a trend is to hop on it before everyone else hops on board. So like I said, let's do a little rewind for a second before I dive into these trends. So the last 10 years of social media is really when social media began, right? Like social media comes around, we really could rely just on doing the bare minimum in order to get the highest amount of engagement for our profile. So things like, you know, posting when, you know, posting whenever we felt like it, posting and praying, you know, posting a random selfie with a quote with some hashtags and you know it would get a lot of likes because the algorithms weren't matured. So as time goes along that in itself doesn't work anymore. So Instagram back in 2014 when all it was was just pictures and the hashtags and people found you in the hashtag search <laughs> Unfortunately, those days are long gone. Now we see at the end of 2020, Instagram is a completely different platform. This video also goes for any platform. I'm just using Instagram as an example. But we see Reels, Instagram TV, Instagram Story, Instagram Live. We got the main feed with the pictures and the videos. It's just like, it's crazy, right? You have all these different functionalities. And what we're going to see as a trend is that all of these platforms are going to try to have all of these different functionalities under one roof. But don't let that overwhelm you. Use these trends to erase the overwhelm and bring it back to the basics. So let's get started. The first trend that I have for you guys for social media in 2021 that you really need to focus on is conversational marketing. So what I mean by that is this, bringing it back to the basics. Let's break that down. What does that mean? Conversation all marketing. That means having conversations with your ideal clients. So like I said earlier in this video, what a lot of small business owners do and entrepreneurs and CEOs and corporations what happens is, is we've gotten into such of this habit of posting and praying. So that means people literally post what they need to do. They, they treat social media as a checklist. So they're like, okay, I posted, check, leave the platform, check. I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'm going to make sure that my post has more likes than it did yesterday. Lo and behold, they leave the platform, they come back, and it has less likes, less engagement, so on and so forth. And then a lot of people quit social media because they think social media doesn't work for their business. That's not true. Social media works for every single person. It works for every single business to get an ROI. The problem is, is that you're not having conversations with your ideal clients. Now, how do you have conversations with your ideal clients? When you post value-based content, you can leave a call to action at the end of every piece of content saying, what do you think about this topic? What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Like, what do you guys think about this video? Let me know in the comments. That's me asking you to engage with me so I can be of more help to you. What does that do? What does that conversation bring along? It brings about that one-to-one -one authenticity that we're really missing with social media because we've gotten into this like influencer rut type of thing where people are racing to get the most amount of followers. They're racing to the top. And in order for them to think, well, a lot of people think that they need to do that through gimmicks. So pods, follow trains, you guys seen this all around. They're gimmicks. They... They work, but they don't work to grow your business. So what happens is, is that 
as they're trying to race to the top, they forget that the people that are giving them those metrics, the people that literally provide that data for them are left high and dry. Like they want that engagement from you. They love your content. You see them in the comments. They're like, I love this. This is awesome. Maybe they give their feedback and you're not replying to their comments. So think of it this way. If you went to, if you said hi to somebody and you're like, hey, what's up? And they just kind of look at you like, okay, bye. Like that's literally what you're doing to people online. So a trend for 2020 is conversational marketing and how you can implement this into your business is go ahead and have those conversations with your ideal clients and be genuine about it. If you ask a question and somebody responds, reply to them, right? I want you guys to focus on replying to every single comment you get on your content. Now, don't prioritize your clients over the people that are supporting your content. Don't prioritize the people that pay you over the people that don't because anyone that supports you genuinely is invested in your journey. So treat everyone equally, okay? So conversational marketing I see as a trend in 2021 because it is lacking severely and it's an amazing way for you to not just grow your business online, grow your account online, but it's a great way to get feedback from your ideal clients so you can tap into that by creating better content, better products, and better services. The second trend I have for you guys going into 2021 is SEO-driven content. SEO is search engine optimization. I'll link a free training that I have on LinkedIn SEO that dives a little bit more into what SEO is and how to optimize that for your social media channels. So what we're seeing is that you guys probably have heard me before in all of my other videos where I'm like, there's four search engine social media channels, Pinterest, YouTube, podcasting, and blogging. How I grew my following, how I grew my business online in the beginning was with Pinterest because it was a search engine. I didn't have to be, you know, screaming into my camera, you know, doing crazy TikTok dances in order to get attention online because people searched for the value that I offered on Pinterest because all of my results were also linked onto Google. I'll leave a free Pinterest training that I have up here that explains this for you. So what this means is, is that I never had to be on the internet 24 seven to grow my following, like I said, because my ideal clients searched for the solution to their problem, which I had the answer to. So it became automated, smart, passive marketing. So why this is important now and why this is a trend in 2021, even though I've been doing it since 2014, is because Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all, LinkedIn, all of these time sensitive platforms are now, they're like, whoa, wait, we want to get on this trend too. They're like, okay, we get it now. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually what they said, but you already see it on Instagram. If you did the latest update, there is a search functionality on Instagram now. And why that's amazing is because now you're going to start seeing Instagram um, results like your content pop up in Google as well. You're going to see Facebook results on Google. You're going to see LinkedIn results on Google because all search engines are interconnected. Okay. So it's not just Pinterest, YouTube, podcasting, and blogging anymore, like general websites. We're going to start seeing Facebook results, Instagram results. Um, I was going to say Pinterest, but Pinterest is blah, not Pinterest. <laughs> LinkedIn, TikTok, you guys get my drift. So why SEO driven is important for your business and how you can implement it into your business is this. This is what you're going to do. You're going to start tailoring your content to be keyword focus. You're going to tailor your content to be value driven. How does it answer a question that your ideal clients are searching for? Because this is what the big part that people miss about social media. Okay. When you're not racing to get to the top and likes and followers, there's this whole other part of social media where people actually are searching for the solution to their problem. You know, what is, what is blah, 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 how to blah, blah, blah. And if your content answers that question, you're going to pop up in the search results. So the best thing about this is that search isn't limited to text. 
So when I say use keywords in your content, like the description, you can use it in the header of your name on Instagram, it's not limited to that. How they're getting creative with search is that if you use certain sounds, like on Instagram Reels, you can use a popular sound. If you um, use filters, certain filters that pops up in a search, you can also do voice. I can see voice also going to Instagram where you can search through text or through video and it populates into the search. There's really unlimited um, possibilities when it comes to SEO because SEO is all based on keywords. So as Instagram, for example, how it was before was that the only way that you could find somebody new was through the hashtag search. So if I posted content, I had to post hashtag social media in order for somebody to find me. But now my ideal clients can find me through the keyword. That's just me saying in the description of my content, social media. If I use the hashtag social media, if they, you know, if there's a popular sound that's related to a certain niche that you're in, they can find you through many different ways besides hashtags, which is why SEO is very, very important. And moving forth with your small business, be very, very specific. And I would say have put more attention onto what you're saying in the caption and making sure you're using the location tag. Still use the hashtags because that helps since it's such a new feature. Still use the hashtags, use the location tag, use the keywords, use your you know most populated keywords. Mine would be social media, social media marketing, business, small business, online business. You guys get my drift. All those things help you get seen in the search. So. Focus on SEO driven content because that just doesn't help you on one platform. It also goes into Google as well. So before I get into the third tip, if you guys are loving this video, I would love if you gave me a like and click subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more for this type of content. So the third out of the four tips that I have for you, or I should say trends that I have for you for social media marketing in 2021 is personality and humanization type content. You guys have probably heard me say this before, but as we all know, picture perfect content is it's done. Like that is a no longer make or break for your business online. So how it used to be back in 2017, 18, 15, 16 was that when we showed up online, we had to, you know, create the perfect picture, the perfect filter. We had to say the perfect thing in order to stand out because that was the trend. That was what was new. But now that that has been so repetitive, it's exhausted it itself. So what's the trend for 2021? It's the complete opposite. So there's a difference between perfect and value-based. You want to have perfect value. You don't want to have perfect vanity. Okay, I'll say that again. You want to have perfect value. You don't want to have perfect vanity. Prime example is this video. You know, I press play. I messed up. Like, <laughs> I don't have edits on any of my videos. And I do that for a reason. It's because I want to show up as real and raw as possible so you guys know that I know what I'm talking about because everything comes from my own experience in growing my following to almost 200,000 followers online. So along with that is that because of that, my value is present. I'm focusing on the value that I'm delivering, not what I look like, you know, okay, I messed up in the beginning of this video, so I need to stop and replay it 80 million times. Like uh, my bike's in the background, like that looks bad. It looks unprofessional. Like all these limiting beliefs that you can have when in reality, none of that matters. People want value. They want something to help them succeed in their life and business. So that's how you can relate this to your own business is that focus more on pushing out valuable content when it's at 85%. Maybe you see a picture or you, you did a TikTok video or maybe you did an Instagram story, a LinkedIn story, and you're like, could it be better? Yes, but is the mesh? <laughs> See, I just had a lisp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So could it be better? Yes. 
Am I gonna let the little things hold me back from posting this piece of content because the value is there? No. So that's what I mean by the humanization of content. Be vulnerable, be authentic, use stories more. This is another thing too. I hear a lot from small business owners, entrepreneurs that maybe they wanna start doing the side hustle of starting their business online. And the biggest limiting belief is that they don't have enough time. When in reality, you can start by just using the stories feature, right? You can start by posting once a day. And the post doesn't have to be this, you know, New York Times bestseller. It doesn't have to be a Steven Spielberg directed film. It doesn't have to have all these jump cuts in the video. I don't have any edits in this video, okay? <laughs> Is it the best video on YouTube? Probably not, but I don't care because the person that needs to have this information is going to utilize it for their online business to make it better. So that's what you need to focus on. Don't focus on it being the best. Just focus, it, focus on getting the message across because your follow-up videos, your follow-up stories, your follow-up reels or TikToks are gonna be better when you start. So start with it not being perfect, just show up as you are and let it be that. And then let your audience tell you what they like, what they don't like. Here's a great tip from this. From my own personal experience, a lot of my older videos were Facebook live streams and I started uploading them on this YouTube channel. And something that I noticed was that I saw a lot of people commenting that they didn't like the quality of the video. You could still see me, but it wasn't 4K. So I took that advice and I started recording from my iPhone which I already had a good iPhone, that wasn't the issue. It was just the way that I was going about my processes. But that didn't stop me from starting to start uploading videos onto YouTube by just pushing out my Facebook live streams that were already of value. So I wouldn't have known that unless I started pushing out that content. Does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense in the comments and if you're loving this video. Also, if you're loving it, I would love if you gave me a thumbs up on YouTube. So let's go into the last trend that I have for you guys trying to keep all my videos under 20 minutes, which is why I talk so fast. If I didn't talk this fast, it would probably be 45 minutes long. So let's go into the fourth trend I have for you guys in 2020, and that is social media monetization. We're seeing a lot of these platforms have that in-platform monetization. So like I said, like three, two, three, four years ago, we got deals through other brands. It was being an influencer. Like we were like, hey, let's do a deal together. This, that, one, two, three. The monetization outlets were very limited. Now we're seeing Instagram shopping. We're seeing TikTok creators get paid. We're seeing Snapchat spotlights. So Snapchat creators can get paid. They're vouching to pay people a million dollars a day. It's probably gonna go up as this video you know, matures, but at the end of the day, there's so many ways to monetize your brick and mortar business online or your online business online. Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, all of these different outlets. So why is that amazing? Don't limit yourself. If you're a brick and mortar business and you're watching this and you just wanna add social media to you know, your marketing strategy, what you can do is, is that if you have products and services, Go ahead and put them on the Facebook shop. Go ahead and put them on Instagram shop. If you don't wanna sell from the website, you can go on live streams and you can sell from the live streams. Just press live and be like, hey, if anybody wants this product, send me a DM. There's so many different ways to start making money online, which is really exciting for 2021 as you know, personal brands, as entrepreneurs, as small businesses. So again, all of these trends, why they're so amazing is because all of the things that I just mentioned are available to you right now. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go through all of the four trends that I said, which is, let's see if I can remember them on the top of my head. Um, conversational marketing, SEO driven. We have the product shop on social media sites and we have the humanization of our content. These are all four things that are so simple 
to implement into your marketing strategy. And you can literally do that today in probably under an hour. If you just, you know, took some time and brainstormed and been like, okay, how can I make my content more conversational? How can I focus on SEO and my content? How can I be more myself in my content? And how can I show up in a way where when I deliver all that value, I can package it in a way where I can help other people and sell my products and services. That's how all of these four social media marketing trends are going to explode your business in 2021. Like I said, there's millions of trends. These are just my favorite four because I thought that they were simple, practical, and you could implement them literally today in December of 2020 before we kickstart into 2021. So those are the four tips. I always say tips, trends. <laughs> those are the four trends that I have for you guys today. If you guys love this video, I'd be so appreciative. If you gave me a thumbs up on YouTube, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And like I say in all of my videos, and I mean this, if you guys have any questions related to social media marketing, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, podcast, whatever, let me know in the comments because your question could quite literally and anonymously be the topic of my next video. So I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you guys on the next training. Bye guys.